All right, so YouTube Premium is going up if you are in Europe. Some of the European countries are going to see increases hiked as much as 55%. As a matter of fact, I'm seeing this across the board, whether it's food or whether it's some kind of streaming service. It looks like 55 to around 100% everything is going up by at least that much. And what companies are doing to trick us, they're not really tricking us, but they're reducing products, like for example, that you actually purchase. Like let's just use an example. I'm from Canada, so let's use the bacon example, right? So you go to the store, you look at a pack of bacon, it's 10 bucks. $10 Canadian for one pack of bacon. That's how bad it is here. In any case, so that pack of bacon now is no longer 500 grams, it is 375 grams. So they've reduced the weight, so you don't get as much, but they've doubled or tripled the price on it. So, you know, it's it's all across the board. It's in Europe. It's here in Canada. It is all over the place. I have given up completely on Netflix. They were doing some crazy stuff, in my opinion, and uh, prices hiked up too high. I'm like, I'm out. Paramount did the same thing. I was with them. I'm out. So premium, I've never had YouTube premium aside for, from the trials. Uh, the trial was okay. I mean, it's nice not to have ads, but I'm in my 50s. I grew up with ads. I grew up watching commercials. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm, not, I'm sorry, but I'm not paying for YouTube. It's just, I'm just not. <laughs> I don't know if you feel that way, but some people don't. I mean, some people don't. Some people don't want to have ads, and I completely get that. But you're going to you're going to pay for it. All right. So let's just dive into this a little tiny bit more. I'm not going to be going through all the prices here. I will link you, like I always do, in the YouTube description down below if you want to go over and check the article out. But uh, the specific increase per country is listed here. Now, what is the justification? So YouTube justifies this. And uh, they have stated that the price increase uh, or increases actually are necessary to continue providing high quality service and support for creators and artists. Uh, user reactions, of course, user reactions are going to be horrific. People don't want to pay 55% more. I don't know. I, I think it's nuts. I think it's too much. But what do you guys think?